We begin by acknowledging the land and our responsibility to care for and respect all that creation gives to provide us with life. This land upon which we live, work, and sustain ourselves is the ancestral and treaty land of the Michisaugic and Ashtabek, also known today as the Mississaugas of the Credit, the rightful caretakers and title holders of this land. We also recognize that this land is rich in pre-contact history and relationships, which includes the Anishinaabek and Ongahongwe, and since European contact has and continues to become home for Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples. As a responsible community, we believe all people are sacred and possess inherent and immeasurable worth and dignity. Colonialism displaced and dispossessed Indigenous peoples of their ancestral lands and continues to deny their basic human rights, dignities, and freedoms. We are committed to the sacrament of reconciliation, making reparations and fulfilling our treaty obligations, duties, and responsibilities as outlined in the Godot Nagarana Dish with One Spoon Wampum. This treaty governs and affirms that we actively maintain mutually beneficial relationships and collectively respect and care for the land, water, animals, and each other in order to guarantee a good life for our future descendants. Welcome grade eights to your open house. This is Ms. Tyson. I am the acting chaplaincy leader at Philip Pocock Secondary School and I can't wait to meet you. Uh, let's start with a little prayer. If we can start with the sign of our faith in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, we pray for our students. We pray for strength to do what they need to do each day. Lord, we pray for courage that they will be brave as they face the challenges that are before them. Lord, we also pray for peace that their hearts will be calm as they go through their day. We pray also for direction, that our students will be led to embrace what is good and right. We also pray for their protection, that God keeps them safe in this increasingly unsafe world and protects them from harm and sickness. We also pray for joy, that God fills our students with the kind of joy that only comes from God. We also pray for compassion, so that they may help those in need who have less than they do. We also pray that our students experience justice to give them a sense of what is right and to stand up for the weak. We also pray for wisdom that they will grow in knowledge and understanding, for hope to give them the hope that, they, that comes from God, the kind that far exceeds what we have in the here and now. And we also pray for love, that our students are filled with the love of God, that they know their identity as a beloved child of God. We ask this in your name, Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Trustees play a vital role in ensuring the community has a direct pathway to express its views on the education issues that matter most. Individual trustees bring to the board the concerns of parents and guardians, students and Catholic school supporters. Through collaboration, engagement and joint decision making, trustees reflect the values, priorities and expectations of the community to translate them into policy. Philip Pocock is fortunate to be supported by trustee Mario Piscucci, Mississauga Wards 1 and 3, and trustee Stefano Piscucci, Mississauga Ward 4. Welcome parents and guardians. I'm Caroline Hastings, and I feel very privileged to be the principal here at Philip Pocock. Unfortunately, this is the second year we've had to do a virtual presentation. I would have preferred to be speaking to you face-to-face -face in our school building as we usually do so that you are able to get a sense of our programs and what we're all about. However, this pandemic has forced us to do things a little differently and so I appreciate you viewing this presentation. Please do take the time to go through our virtual school tour as well. As parents, I know that when our children are faced with a transition, it's probably more difficult for us. We worry about how they will adapt to the change. Will they make friends? Will they like their teachers? Will they be happy? With all the uncertainty of the pandemic, your level of anxiety may be even more heightened. But I want you to rest assured that making sure your children have a good and positive transition is our priority. And we will always do our best to make sure your children feel safe and welcomed here at Philip Pocock. Students. Taking the step from elementary to high school may seem intimidating, but we know that you will adjust and make friends. All we ask of you is that you do your best, attend all your classes, and reach out if you require help. There are many people here whose job it is to make sure you get the help and support you need. 
Over the course of this presentation, you will see many programs and courses that students can choose from. I just want you to keep in mind that there are many pathways to select, far more than existed when I was in school, and all of them have good post-secondary choices. We are living in a different world where jobs exist that did not exist for us. We have a fantastic guidance department whose job it is to explain, guide students through these various options. You will see from this presentation and the virtual school tour that there are many programs Pocock has to offer. The SHSMs, the tech courses, French immersion, extended French, as well as the traditional courses of math, science, English, history, and phys ed. We have great teachers who will prepare our students for the future. I have always said that our greatest strength as a school are our human resources. We are proud to be a Catholic school that instills Christ-like values. We are invested in the development of your child spiritually, intellectually, and emotionally. We have created a culture of caring here at Pocock that can be seen from the care and concern your child receives when they walk into the office, or attendance office to the time and effort the administration, teachers, support staff put into knowing your child and their strengths and being here to help and support them. Our goal here is to do our best to make sure your child has success. As I said before, they have a responsibility to work to the best of their ability and we have a responsibility to give them every opportunity to reach their potential. For me, the most important thing at the end of these four years is that your children feel accepted, cared for, and have accomplished the goals they have set out for themselves. Please enjoy the presentation. Send all your questions and concerns to our guidance email. More information on that will be given to you during the presentation. Welcome to Philip Pocock. Welcome to Philip Pocock Catholic Secondary School. My name is Ms. Yakabuchi, and I'm one of the vice principals here at the school. Let me start off by saying thank you for choosing Catholic education and for, and for considering Philip Pocock as one of the choices for your son or daughter. This is a school that offers a variety of programs, prepares students for their post-secondary direction, and most important, helps to develop students into responsible citizens committed to their families, their communities, and most important, Catholic faith. This is a school of outstanding staff who are ready and happy to serve and guide your child. This is a school where learning is not limited to the classroom. It offers a variety of sports clubs and activities throughout the school year. This is a school that's committed to community and ready to serve. I thank you in advance if you give me the privilege of serving your child and your family and choosing Philip Pocock. I'm Mr. Brady, the new vice principal here at Philip Pocock, and I'm really excited for you to start your journey here. Being new myself, you know, I, I've had an incredible experience. I've gotten to know a, a lot of people here, and you're going to do the same. I'd encourage you to come out, talk to myself, talk to all the various supports that we have here because this is a great community. It's very welcoming and uh, I'm telling you, we're incredibly excited to have you. There are so many opportunities for you. There are clubs, teams, and an incredible wealth of knowledge in the staff here. Uh, academically, socially, you're going to have an incredible time and I can't wait to help you through that. So please, 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 Make the most of your time here at Philip Pocock and know that we're all here to support you. Thank you. Welcome future pirates. My name is Sandy Ionetta. I am the department head of student services and we welcome you with open arms. Hi, grade eights and families. My name is Genevieve Wong. I'm another one of the guidance counselors here and we can't wait to meet you. Welcome future grade nines. My name is Robbie Costa. I also work in the student services office as a guidance counselor. You're gonna love it here. At this time, we will move into the information session of, of the open house, whereby we will give you information on school programming and registration information. 
Let's just start off with um, summarizing what the diploma requirements are in Ontario. So in order to obtain an Ontario Secondary School Diploma, a student is required to earn 30 credits by June of their grade 12 year, 18 of which are compulsory credits, four of which are religion, and eight of which are electives. The second component is the 40 hours of community involvement. These hours can start, can um, be accumulated in the summer after grade eight, and we can put them towards the uh, 40 hour community involvement component. The last requirement is the literacy requirement. The Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test is written in grade 10. If the student is unsuccessful in passing that test, the Ontario Literacy course is offered in grade 11 or 12. The four course types or pathways we refer to in grade nine and 10 courses are the following. So open or de-streamed, this is for all students. Locally developed courses, emphasis is on skill development and practical activities. Applied courses, emphasis is on practical applications and hands-on activities. And lastly, academic courses, emphasis is on theoretical applications and abstract thinking. We are asking you to trust your grade eight teacher's recommendation when choosing courses for your child. If we're to take a look a little uh, more in depth in terms of what course types offer or the pathway that is offered to the student. Academic courses, uh, students typically prefer working independently. Uh, students complete home, completes homework daily without prompting. And uh, we have larger class sizes. The reality is, is that most cl academic classes would be about 30 students. Applied courses, students prefer working in groups rather than independently. Uh, students typically has time to complete some of the homework in class. Uh, and again, we typically have smaller classes for applied students. The target can be 26. Locally developed classes, student prefers working uh, with prompting from the teacher. Students may begin in class with direction from the teacher. And we have small class sizes for locally developed courses. Max is usually about 17, so 15 to 17 students. Again, if you are um, not sure, we do ask you to defer to your grade eight teacher's recommendation. Now, um, our next slide talks about changing course types or pathways after grade nine, which is possible. This applies to English, science, and geography. Math is de-streamed for next school year. It started um, this school year, so um, all students take de-streamed math. But if I am a grade nine student taking grade nine academic English science or geography, and I wish to continue with it in grade 10, I'm able to do that. If I didn't do so well, and I didn't feel comfortable at that course type, I am able to go directly into grade 10 applied courses. If I'm a student who took grade nine applied English science or geography, and I wish to take grade 10 academic courses the following year, I can do that directly. Um, perhaps it, I felt it was a little too easy, um, the pace of which was slower and I was able to handle, um, and I want to move to the academic course type in grade 10, I can do that freely uh, with English Science and Geography. Or if I felt comfortable in that course type, I continue with grade 10 applied. If I'm a student who took grade nine locally developed English science or geography, and again, I felt comfortable, I can either move directly into grade 10 locally developed courses, or if again, I wasn't challenged enough, I did really, really well, I want to change my course type, we do require the students take the grade nine applied first before moving on to the grade 10 applied. 
And at this time, I would like to introduce my colleague, Ms. Angela Catapano, who is our Department Head of Academic Resource. Hello, everyone. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all to Philip Pocock Secondary School. My name is Angela Catapano, and I am the Academic Resource Department Head. Our school is a thriving community, which is rich in special education resources and programs. Our department supports all students with an individual education plan. At Philip Pocock, we believe that every individual is unique and a true gift from God. Our department mission is to strive to ensure that we educate our students to be powerful advocates for themselves. Again, parents, guardians, and students, welcome to Pocock. You are going to love it. Thank you, Ms. Catapano. Our support services team are, are here to support your child in their academic growth, their spiritual growth, and their interpersonal growth. Our student services department consists of guidance counselors, child and youth worker, our social worker, our student success teacher for students who are not experiencing success at school, our settlement worker, for students who are here um, to the country or new to the country. We have our academic resource department, which Ms. Catapano just spoke about. We have our school chaplain and we have our ESL classes with our ESL resource teacher. All these services are here for the betterment of your child. And now I'd like to pass on to my colleague, Ms. Genevieve Wong, to continue about school programming. So now I'm going to tell you about some of the specialty programs that we have that are unique to Philip Pocock. Our first one up is our French programs. So we offer both an extended French program as well as a French immersion program. In our extended French program, if you were doing it in grade eight, you can continue it here in grade nine, where you would take your predominantly most of your classes in English, but you would also have a French language class taught with um, or you would take with other extended French students, and you would take your geography class taught in French language. Now, if you chose to go in the French immersion program, if you were doing that in grade eight, you could continue it here and you would have your French immersion language class, your geography would be taught in French, and you would take your religion class in French. We also offer three different specialist high school major programs or SHSM programs. Now these don't start until grade 11, but it's a good idea to know what we have available so that way you can start to plan your future. So in a specialist high school major program, what you do is you take your regular courses to get your diploma, but you bundle some of them in a particular area of interest. So that way you get an opportunity to explore them a little bit more in depth. Now our three major areas of specialty include arts and culture. So this is where you can focus your studies a little bit more in the field of dance, drama, or instrumental and local music. We also have hospitality and tourism. So this is where you can focus your studies in on hospitality classes and cosmetology. And our final specialist high school major is in transportation, where you can focus in a little bit more on transportation technology. Now, I know a lot of our grade eight feeder schools are currently using my blueprint uh, just for a lot of career exploration and learning about yourself. And we're going to continue using that here at Philip Pocock. Our feeder schools are going to be choosing their courses for grade nine through using the my blueprint application. Um, and it's something that we use daily here at Philip Pocock. So it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with this and uh, just explore all the options that you can see here. So when you look at the courses, for example, you'll have an opportunity to get the full course description um, so that way you know what you're signing up for when you're picking your classes. As well, if you'd like some more information, you can go onto the Philip Polcock uh, School website. Here you'll get some general information about the school, uh, learn more in, under the guidance tab. You can learn more about the courses that we offer. And we also have a section uh, relating to the open house where you'll get a bunch of updates um, as they pertain to registration and things that are upcoming for our grade eights. So now I'd like to pass on, uh, to pass on the presentation to my colleague, Mr. Robbie Costa. Thank you, Mrs. Genevieve Wong. So I'll be going through some of the extracurriculars that are available for you here at Philip Pocock. So we are here home of the Pirates and uh, in front of you, you'll see a list of the different um, 
athletic sports we have available for you from the fall, winter, and spring seasons, as well as the special events that happen during uh, different points of the year. Uh, so lots to offer here at Pocock, the home of the Pirates. In addition to the athletics uh, and sports that we offer in teams, there's also a great variety of clubs here at Pocock. Uh, so you can see in front of you a great list from chaplaincy to student council to the Salesian leaderships to eco school to even the weight room. So whatever your interests are, we have uh, a club here that will represent that. So with that then, grade eight, thank you for participating and listening to this presentation. And we welcome you here, class of 2026. We're excited that you've selected Pocock as your next step in your education. And we look forward to seeing you in the halls here at Philip Pocock. At this moment, I'm gonna pass things back to Miss um, Sandy Ionetta to talk a little bit about registration. Thank you, Mr. Costa. At this time, we'll talk about the registration process and what that will look like. The first type of registration that we'll talk to is about students who attend a Philip Pocock feeder school. And when we refer to a Philip Pocock feeder school, uh, that refers to a Dufferin Peel school that is located within the Philip Pocock boundary. If you're a student that attends St. Alfred, St. Basil, St. Sophia, but those who live within the Philip Pocock boundary, St. Thomas More or St. Martha and Mary, you will have a registration package that will be sent out to these schools in the month of November. A virtual registration information session will be arranged with your grade eight teacher to be held in December with the feeder school class as a whole. The complete registration packages will be collected by your elementary school uh, to be sent back to Philip Pocock in January of 2022. So your grade eight teacher will set some guidelines for you in terms of the actual day to return the registration package uh, to uh, the elementary school. So we are asking these packages to be sent to uh, Philip Pocock by the elementary school in January of 2022. If you are a student in the extended French program and you are in one of these three schools, St. Philip, San Lorenzo Ruiz, or St. Thomas More, you are considered a feeder school uh, for the extended French program to uh, Philip Pocock. Again, same idea, registration packages will be sent out to these schools in the month of November. Virtual registration information sessions to be held in December with the feeder school class. And then the complete registration package will be collected by the elementary school to be sent back to Philip Pocock in January of 2022. If you are in the French immersion program, any Dufferin Peel school with a French immersion program can come to Philip Pocock for the French immersion program. Registration packages will be sent out to St. Jude and St. Gregory as we receive a high number of registrations from these schools for the French immersion program. Again, a virtual registration information class or session, sorry, will be held in December with the French immersion class at St. Jude and St. Gregory. Completed registration packages will be collected by St. Jude or St. Gregory uh, to be sent back to Philip Pocock in January of 2022. Any other family from a French immersion Dufferin Peel school not attending St. Jude or St. Gregory can contact Philip Pocock's guidance department directly for a registration package. Just a note that transportation is not provided for this program. If you are a non Dufferin Peel family and you would like to register to Philip Pocock, we will direct you to start the registration process online from our school website. The um, link is here on this PowerPoint. However, you can always go to the school website and um, there's a, usually a, 
an area where it says register for school here and you can start the process. You will be contacted to pick up the balance of the registration package from the guidance department. Once the package is complete, it will be given to the vice principal who will then contact you. In terms of keeping uh, communication lines open with the school and what's going on with the school, I encourage you either to uh, email if you have any outstanding questions from this virtual open house. You can email us directly, uh, pocock, P-O-C-O-K, guidance at dpcdsb.org. You can follow us on Instagram to see what um, kind of events are going on at Philip Pocock for your grade eight child to, to view uh, at Pocock underscore Insta. Or you can follow us on Twitter at Pirates Pocock One. So we encourage that communication so that uh, your child and yourself can be acclimatized to our school culture and uh, what's happening around uh, We thank you for watching this open house video. We thank you for your time. Uh, we wish you well. We wish you to stay safe and healthy. And we look forward to seeing you next September. Good night, everyone.